When thinking about getting chickens or adding to your flock, one question that usually comes to mind is whether you should be getting meat chickens or egg layers. And although the word chicken does talk about both of these, the word chicken is also such a broad name for these types of birds because there are so many different breeds and types of chicken underneath that really broad name. So we're gonna break down what the main differences are between those meat or broiler chickens as well as egg laying chickens. And the first main difference and how you're gonna actually raise them is meat chickens are primarily going to be for meat. They're gonna be birds that are gonna grow out relatively fast. They're bred in order to eat and gain weight quickly in order to get to size so that you do not have to spend a lot of time and money raising them. You can get them to size pretty quickly and you can go ahead and turn them into a nice hearty dinner at a lower cost. Whereas our egg laying chickens are going to be primarily good for laying eggs. These are going to be hens that are going to lay usually large or extra large sized eggs. They're going to be laying around one egg per day, which is amazing. And there are a lot of breeds that go under that, give or take depending on the time of year. Now we're going to talk about the key differences. And the first large difference is going to be breed. So in our meat chickens, these are again going to be birds that are going to grow out to size relatively fast. They're going to be meatier, larger birds, and they can be both male and female. It doesn't really matter. They're just going to be growing out to size really quickly. They're going to be eating a lot of food and probably not moving that much because they're getting ready to gain that weight for you. Your egg laying chickens are going to be a smaller, leaner chicken. These are only going to be female they're gonna be really good at laying eggs and they're usually gonna lay around one egg per day so really really different in these two just looking at the size and then in between that we do actually have dual purpose chickens that means that they're good for both laying eggs as well as getting to a good size and what you'll usually find here is these chickens are going to be chickens that are going to be there for you to lay a good amount of eggs and then at the end of their laying season around two to three years old when they start to decrease on the amount of laying of their eggs then you can actually use them to eat as meat the main difference here between this chicken and a meat chicken is is that you're gonna find that as chickens get older with age, the meat does become a little more stringy and tougher. So these are gonna be chickens that you probably wanna roast or cook a little bit differently than you would say a broiler meat chicken when you are actually going to be using them at a much younger age in order to get them as a meat source. The next differentiator between these two chickens is going to be their life demand. So a meat chicken is actually gonna have a relatively shorter life and this is because they're gonna to grow to size at around six to eight weeks. And at this time, you can go ahead and slaughter these chickens for their main purpose of having meat. Now they will live longer, but if you are looking to get them to size at the cheapest cost possible, then the longer that they are around, the longer you will have to feed, water, and care for them. So it really makes sense to shorten their lifespan in order to get what you need out of them. Whereas an egg laying chicken, they usually are going to start laying a little bit later than even six to eight weeks. It's gonna be dependent on their breed. For the first year, to two, three years, they're gonna be laying at a pretty good rate of around one egg per day, give or take the seasons and sometimes the breeds, whatever breed you end up getting. And they're usually gonna lay anywhere between ages five to seven. It will taper off after three years. They may not lay as consistently, but the egg size will usually get larger as they do get older. And these types of chickens can actually live for over a decade. So once they do stop laying eggs, you can still keep them at your farm as fun animals around. They still do a lot of work cleaning up all of the little buggies and scratching around at the ground. And they're just really fun pets to have. So you can definitely keep them for a much longer amount of time than you would say 
a meat chicken. As I said at the beginning, there are so many different types of breeds of chicken, and the word chicken is just so broad, but so is the name for an egg laying chicken or a meat chicken, because there are a lot of breeds that are also gonna fall into these two categories as well. And I'm gonna tell you some of the top breeds in both of these categories. So let's break it down. And we're gonna start with meat chickens. Now, the most popular meat chicken, America actually uses these for all of their meat, is going to be the Cornish Cross. This is definitely the most well-known meat chicken out there. The US actually uses this for all of their chicken meat in the grocery stores. And they're really great because in six to eight weeks, they are gonna get to around 12 pounds in size. Now, cons here is that they're very dirty chickens. We raise them and all they do is literally eat sleep and not move very much at all and because they get so heavy so quickly there can actually be health complications if they do live a longer life so you really need to think about that and they're not going to be a chicken that you would want to keep at your homestead for a long period of time another con here is because they are eating so much and they are growing so fast the cost of feed can be a lot higher than you might anticipate so you do want to think about that as you're raising these types of chickens and they're not usually going to be free range chickens. So you're not gonna be able to supplement those costs with letting them go outside in your yard. The second top meat chicken is going to be the Jersey Giant. And they're one of the world's largest chickens. In around 16 to 21 weeks, they will grow to the size of 11 to 13 pounds. And what's really great about them is unlike the Cornish Cross, they do like to forage. So you will be able to free range them with your other chickens and be able to supplement some of the costs with the free ranging of that. Now for commercial chicken raising, this is not a popular breed because it does take a lot longer to grow to size, but this is a really great bird for homesteading because they will forage and they will actually lay some nice size, large brown eggs. So you can be able to get some eggs from them while you're waiting for them to get to their meat size that you need them to get to. The third top meat breed is going to be the red boiled this is a really good comparative bird to the Cornish cross because they're going to take a shorter amount of time to grow to size around 11 to 12 weeks and they also do like to forage so they can help supplement some of the costs so they aren't always just eating and killing off a lot of the costs from your chicken feed which is really nice now let's go ahead and talk about our egg laying breeds so our first top breed for our egg layers is going to be the leghorn and this actually named after a town in Italy and they're a really great egg laying bird. They're actually the star egg layer of America and they are going to lay white eggs, a really great size, and they're just so efficient at laying these eggs, which has made them such a great egg laying chicken. Now, one con about them is they're not the friendliest of birds. We did have a leghorn a couple years ago, and we found that it was just always by itself, kind of doing its own thing. It did lay a lot of eggs but it wasn't coming up or running up to us. It wasn't a lap chicken like some of our other breeds, which is fine. Um, you have all different types of personalities in your chicken breeds, but something to know if you're thinking of raising your own leghorns. The second top breed is going to be the Rhode Island Red, which we have an abundant amount of these at our homestead. We love them. They're really friendly and people really love the Rhode Island Reds because they are such a beautiful bird to have walking around as well. And they're going to usually lay a good size brown egg. They lay pretty often, usually around the same cadence as the Leghorn. And they have both heritage and industrial breeds similar to the leghorn and the industrial breeds are going to lay around one egg per day. So if you're thinking of getting a really high laying bird, this is going to be a great option for you. They're really pretty and they're really friendly as well. So we really love them at our homestead. The third breed that we're going to talk about today for a top egg layer is going to be the Plymouth Rock, which we actually have at our homestead as well. And they originated in Massachusetts. They're really great because they're a nice hardy bird as well, which we live in a colder climate. So it's really nice because they can take that 
snowy weather as well as the summer weather and they really lay a good amount of eggs um, when doing research it says that they lay around four eggs per week but i honestly think that they lay more like one egg per day obviously depending on the time of year that you're in and their age but they're a really great bird and they're also really friendly as well they love to forage all of these birds love to free range so there's a really great option there to cut down on costs and also add some really great nutrients into the eggs giving them some vitamin d and additional minerals that will be added into the health of your eggs both me and egg laying chickens are going to help you become more self-sustainable and i hope that learning about these key differences is helping you make a decision on what you want to add to your homestead and if you're interested in watching some more chicken content then check out this video up here next we'll see you guys again next time bye